Welcome to Moonlight Clean With Me, an After Dark Cleaning Challenge hosted by moi, Denise Jordan. Keep watching. If we're just meeting, I'm Denise Jordan and I teach traditional homemaking for today's woman. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, Hit that subscribe button and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's get into it. Today has been one of those days. My house is totally at sixes and sevens. We had the painters in on Wednesday. The carpet cleaners were in yesterday. And the furniture for this bedroom is going to be delivered tomorrow. So I thought what I better get done since I have the opportunity is to get the carpet vacuumed all around the edges of the corner and then do an annual cleaning of the baseboards as well as the doors in this room. So let's get that started. So one of the jobs that I don't get to very often is cleaning the baseboards here in this bedroom. Usually because there's a dresser here and the beds over there and there's furniture that's in the way. But since all the furniture is out of the room right now, I can get to this area here. And who knows when I'll be able to get to it again. So I want to be sure and take care of it today. So while I'm going to clean the baseboards with this Min Wax, and I usually use it to clean like cabinets, but it also works really well on baseboards. So I'm going to use it for that. And while I'm working, I'm going to be listening to this James Patterson and Max or, and Candace Fox um, novel and it is called liar liar and um i'm on the first cd but i'm liking it so i'll have this playing in the background while i'm working away No, it feels so odd. We've had the carpet cleaners in here and now that all the furniture is out for the most part, this spot under the bed, this carpet is so thick and plush I forgot how it felt when it was new but it looks new and it feels wonderful on the bare feet and then you get on the part that was out where we walked on and it's like night and day. So there's just some areas like really close around the edges of the woodwork that uh, the carpet cleaner didn't get to. I mean he, with his equipment he cleaned as much as he could but then I like to get up there with my little edge cleaner and then um, vacuum it around in little pieces because once we started moving some of this other stuff I just didn't realize how much dust was in this room. So I got the woodwork cleaned. And now I've gotten the floor vacuumed. And tonight we will put the mattress on the floor and we'll sleep on that. And then the bedroom furniture will be delivered tomorrow. So I'll show you that when it comes. All right, so you guys don't normally see my house as much of a mess as this. So when I say it's at sixes and sevens, it is definitely at sixes and sevens today. But as you can see, we've got the new bedroom furniture in. And I had planned to take my time getting the things out of the drawers from the old dresser and kind of going through and purging. And my husband and son are giving our old bedroom suit away to someone else. So my husband took all the stuff out of the drawers and just dumped them on the bed. So I started working on part of it and I thought, oh, I should probably be filming this so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So one of the things that I'm doing is vacuuming a little bit of like dust out of the drawers. And then 
there wasn't much, but there was just a couple little, you know, just little flakes of this or that. So I thought I'm going to just go ahead and vacuum those drawers out. And then I'm going to put this drawer liner in and we'll go from there. And then the other thing I need to do is to vacuum and, well, to vacuum the dust off the base of these nightstands and then wipe them down with some furniture polish because there was a lot of warehouse dust on them. They brought them up the steps. I mean, they really humped them up the steps. They were all wrapped up in like this huge industrial saran wrap and uh, blankets and all that kind of thing, but there was still a lot of dust underneath there. So, and just to even run your finger across the top like this, there's a lot of dust. So I'm going to vacuum that off and then I'm going to polish it. Now this is one of the things that really sold me on this bedroom suit. And look at this drawer. There's two drawers like this. One, two on this side. And then there's like a little cubby right here that you can use for storage. And look how deep they are. So hubby decided he wanted all of his socks in this drawer. So I have the dark socks in the front and then the white and gray socks in the back. But I already see I'm going to need to find some of those sock organizers. You know, those organizers that you put in the drawer for socks so that I can sort this out a little bit better than that. But this is where we are for now. I got to a stopping point and I called it quits for the night and I still have quite a bit left to do because I really want to go through those clothing both his and mine and purge one of the things that I did in that room was to eliminate a piece of furniture which was the whole goal of getting the bed with the drawers underneath the bed frame but that means being more strategic about what we put in them and how much we keep so I've got lots more work to do, but I hope you enjoyed watching me do some of my once yearly spring cleaning in that room where I clean the baseboards and that kind of thing. If you're still wanting to get your spring cleaning on, I've got lots more motivation for you in the form of the playlist. There will be lots of creators who are jumping in on this particular collaboration and they will be spring cleaning their homes after dark and just showing you what's going on at their house. So I will link the playlist in the description box below and be sure to check it out. There will be lots of videos that can give you motivation, the ultimate cleaning motivation to get your spring cleaning on. And you know, everyone has so many different ideas about what needs doing in their home. And if you like this video, be sure and stop back and check out my Spring Clean With Me 2020 entryway where I do a deep clean in that space and then also where I do a deep clean and reorganization in my laundry room. I will link those with an iCard above as well as in the description box below. And while you're here, let me take this opportunity to invite you to check out my new series, The Art and Science of Homemaking. There are so many things that today's young women don't know how to do simply because home economics or the domestic sciences are no longer taught in school. I'd like to help close that gap. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, 
subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you next time. Thank you.